What are you, what are you doing today? Uh, I'm gonna do max power clean or full clean from the box. What's your max power clean from the floor? 150. 150? Yeah. Max What's your best clean cleaner? From the floor, 155. Yeah, uh, max yeah so well. I assume you'll be a lot lower because your max clean jerk is like similar no. to your power clean basically. No. no, power clean is my saving grace. <laughs> yeah. Is it because is it you used to power clean a lot when you used to yeah. play rugby? Yeah. Uh, I see. Yeah. And power clean doesn't require any additional ankle mobility. Yeah. What are you going to hit? I want to try and snatch 130 and then whatever happens from there. And you've been going heavy like every time you walk I know, in here. But oh my God. These two are definitely hazing me in the dark. Too. <laughs> For real. <laughs> <laughs> like that, I'm the, it's no, no joke. Yeah. But it's also like this feeling I have when I'm in Japan is like, okay, well, I'm not going to not train. So if I'm here, I'm like, I'm not going to not give a lot of effort because it might be 10 years, it might be 20 years, I might come here next year, I might never come back, so I just, you just don't know, so you can't leave things on the table. That's how I feel about a lot of shit that I've been doing lately. Like, I'm 32, I feel pretty good, I feel pretty fit, I feel like I can do a lot of stuff. If I don't take advantage of that now, like, I don't know when I'm gonna be able to again. Not saying that I won't, by the way. I think 40 year olds, there are 40 year olds, 45 year olds, 50 year olds who can get in some incredible shape. Seriously, they can. You know what? Hey guys, this is Jang Ho from Lift Weights. I hope you guys enjoyed that little short intro. This is part two of Clarence, Zach, Zika Strength visiting Tokyo. This is a day where everyone just randomly decided to go absolutely ham with squats. I think we were all feeling pretty motivated when we heard Toshiki say that he used to do 5x5 five five with 270 kilos. Followed by 10 reps of 3 sets with 1 minute rest intervals with 170 kilos. And he did that 5 times a week. Obviously not the smartest way to program your squats, but listening to Toshiki talk about it was really inspiring. Owen and I started with some snatches. I think Dara was doing some heavy power cleans and cleans off blocks. Dara wasn't doing any snatches during this trip because his wrist was hurting. Here's me missing 100 kilos again. And this is my third attempt. I made it. My best snatch is 110 kilos, so hitting 100 kilos is not too shabby, I guess. And then I decided to do some rack jerks with Dara. Here's 70 kilos. I usually start my warm-ups with 50 kilos, but then I saw Dara, he already had 70 kilos on the bar, so I was like, it's fine, I'll just start with 70 kilos. Moving straight up to 90 kilos. Here's me. First rep looking good, and then, yup, I hit my jaw on the second rep. I think the last time I hit my jaw while jerking is like two years ago. This usually never happens. Here's Dara with 110 kilos. I think Dara is the kind of guy that jerks a lot more weight after he's cleaned it. And I'm actually the opposite. I tend to rack jerk a lot more than I clean and jerk. 120 kilos looking a little bit heavy for Dara There's me 120 kilos 
felt pretty easy. I was really happy about how it moved. And this is Dara, 130 kilos. Dara was actually gonna go for 125 kilos after 120, but then I was like, bruh, just slap on the greens. Let's go 130. And then he missed. I actually felt pretty bad. I'm sorry, Dara. Here is 130. Just 5 kilos under my PR at the time. A little bit shaky. And that re rack was brutal. Here's 5 kilo PR attempt, 140 kilos. I thought I had it, but then I didn't have enough room to go, uh, chase after the bar. So Dara and Owen decided to move the rack out of my way. Here's 140 kilos PR attempt. I was really happy about that lift. And here is Clarence, trending kilos back squat. I believe Clarence was dealing with some hip issues as well while he was on this trip, but he was still squatting at least 200 kilos every day. I wonder if he can lift more weight without wearing Olympic weightlifting shoes because he's such a back dominant lifter. And from this point, everyone started doing a bunch of squats. I think Owen and I both decided to do 5x5, five five, followed by uh, 3 sets of 10. Zach already worked up to a pause squat, I think around 160 or 170 on this day, but he decided to join in. By the way, the guy in the white tank top behind Zach is Mr. Homma. He used to be a very strong weightlifter in the old 77 kilo weight class. I think he's done up to 150 in the snatch and 180 in the clean and jerk. Here's me. I decided to do straight sets with 145 kilos for a 5x5. My back squat PR is 180, so 145 is right around 80%. I noticed some people commenting about my head bob during my back squats. This is not intentional, it's just a weird habit I picked up. My friends call it the woodpecker squat. I mean, Owen is kind of bobbing his head as well, kind of. I just have a much more pronounced head bob. I think it's because I'm trying to focus so much on pushing my traps into the bar as I uh, squat out of the hole. So Zach decided to keep adding weights for his sets of fives. Here's 165 kilos. Looks pretty easy for him.
I'm surprised how easy the squats look in video because when I was actually squatting it felt really heavy like I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to make it to set 5 here's Zach with one sexy oops 185 kilos in the squat So yeah, like this 200 kilo was way too easy for him. Like, if he was gonna do 80%, he should have squatted something closer to, you know, 220, 230-ish. Owen has squatted up to 290 in the past, I believe. And he's also done 200 kilos for 19 reps. So I feel like 5x5 five five with 200 kilos is like nothing. It's very easy for him. On the other hand, here's me, almost dying from doing 5x5 five five with 145 kilos. Here's Dara, 100 kilos. Dara didn't go too heavy with back squats, but he decided to join in for the 10 reps of 3 sets. Here's Owen, squatting like a super heavyweight. So yeah, I think he miscounted and did 9 reps here. He's a cheater. And here's Mr. Giraffe. Everyone was doing 100 kilos for some reason, but I thought the program was around 50%, 60% of your one rep max. For me, 100 kilo is actually around 60%. Here's me wheezing and trying to focus on not dying while I watch this handsome, beautiful Irishman squatting 100 kilos. Here's me counting for Owen because I realize he can't count in the previous set. And for some reason, Mr. Homa decided to do some sumo routine in the back. 
this <laughs> is really weird. It's like the randomest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Okay, so here's the final set. Everyone else was waiting for me to finish. I believe 145 kilos for five sets of five is the heaviest five by five I've ever done with my squats. So not really a rep max PR, but a set PR. So yeah, this is definitely the roughest squat workout I've ever had in my life. I definitely recommend everyone watching this video to try this squat workout. It will absolutely destroy your lower body, your quads will be burning and you will definitely be sore the next day. So that's the video for today guys, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it and please consider subscribing to my channel.